Now let's practice rotating line segments and rays. Most of the time when you're rotating, you're going to have them starting or pointing up towards the 12 o'clock on a clock or pointing vertical. It doesn't have to start pointing up, but for our sake, we're going to practice with them that way just so that we have some consistency. Remember, the first thing you want to do is visualize that clock going around the hand. Remember, this dot here is kind of like the screw in the middle of the clock holding the hands on. So you need to have a nice big clock going around the outside. Visualize the 12, the 3, the 6, and the 9. Once you have that in your mind, it will be easier for you to remember which direction is clockwise. Remember, clockwise is the direction that the hands on the clock would go. So if I'm rotating this ray, I would want to go from 12 to 1 to 2 to 3 and so on. Now that I know which way is clockwise, I need to know how much is a quarter turn. Visualize in your head a line going from the 12 to the 6 and from 9 to the 3. That way you can see the four sections of the clock. Visualize going through one of those sections as we go to the right, as we go clockwise. If we go through one of those sections, we would be pointing at the three. We would have rotated this far around the clock because that would be one out of the four sections. Now we know that we did a quarter turn clockwise, but we need to prove it to other people as well that we went clockwise, that we went around this side and not all the way around this side. To do that, we're going to draw that curved arrow on the inside saying that we went from the 12 to the three. Now let's practice again with this one. This time we're going to go a half turn clockwise. So visualize that clock going around the outside with the dot being in the center of the clock. Visualize the 12, the 3, the 6, and the 9. That'll help you to know which way is clockwise. We know that clockwise goes from 12 to 1 to 2 and so on. Now that we know which way we're spinning, we need to visualize how far is a half turn. Well, I know that half an hour is 30 minutes, or halfway around the clock would we'll be pointing down here to the 6. So this is what a half turn would look like. Now we know we did a half turn clockwise. We know we went from 12 to 3 down to 6. But we have to prove that again by drawing in those arrows. So we're going to draw that curved arrow saying we went from 12 to 3 and from 3 to 6. Regardless of which way you go, clockwise or counterclockwise, you're going to end up with a straight line with a dot in the middle of it. So we have to prove that we went clockwise by drawing that curved arrow saying we went from 12 to 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 5 to 6. Let's practice one more going clockwise. This one is 3 quarters turn clockwise. Visualize that clock going around the outside with the dot in the center just like the screw that holds on the hand. Visualize the 12, the 3, the 6, and the 9. Now that you have that clock in your head, it'll help you to picture which way is clockwise. Clockwise is the direction that the hands on the clock would normally go. So from 12 to 1 to 2 to 3 and so on. Now visualize those lines from the 12 to the 6 and from the 9 to the 3 so you can see the four sections on the clock. With a three quarter turn, you need to go through three of those sections. So going this far would be one of the sections. Keep it going and that would be two of the sections. All the way over here would be three of the sections. This is a three-quarter turn clockwise. Notice that both the one-quarter turn and the three-quarter turn end up being L's, end up being right angles. It's just a matter of which direction the L goes. Now we know we went three-quarter turn clockwise, that we went all the way around the outside. But to prove it, we have to draw those arrows to show that we went from 12 to 3, from 3 to 6, and from 6 to 9. A three-quarter turn is a very big rotation because we know that three-quarters means three out of four parts. That's most of the parts. So I have to go most of the way around the circle, ending up in that backwards L.